uh, introduction to nanoscience and nanotechnologies. And today's lecture, we will talk about carbon nanotubes from production to uses and concerns. I'm Dr. Pervez Ahmed. So let's talk about first, uh, what are nanotubes or what are carbon nanotubes? So you know that carbon nanotubes are another form of the fullerens. Uh, they are a tube of the carbon uh, hexagons like sheets of graphite, a uh, roll and bicylinder. So something like you can see there in the figure, right? Uh, there, this one uh, is a, a one of the uh, carbon nanotubes. Uh, you can clearly observe and identify according to your knowledge about uh, the tubular structures. So nanotubes have many useful properties, uh, which include, I mean, if you have carbon nanotube, you're working in the field of carbon nanotube. Uh, so you should know that uh, these nanotubes that have remarkable properties. Uh, among those properties, uh, you know that it has a very high tensile strength, unique electrical properties that is, it can be conductor, uh, it can be semiconductor, depending upon the helicity or the, uh, the diameters. I mean, so, uh, along with the change in the diameter, so uh, you can easily switch the properties of the carbon nanotubes. Uh, it's uh, uh, along with that it's good heat conductors. I mean it can easily conduct heat from one place to other place uh, So you can have multi-wall nanotube uh, and these particular nanotube uh, several tubes can uh, rotate and slide within each others uh, That is almost without fractions. I mean it's, you can have single wall carbon nanotube multi-wall carbon nanotube so the good thing about these kind of nanotube uh, is that that uh, some of the tube that can easily rotate within themselves uh, but that rotations can be without fractions i mean it's just it's not like the other materials uh, there's the bulk materials when we have that uh, i mean so and such a form so if you want to rotate one inside the others so there's a lot of friction problem but this uh, this kind of problem i mean it's a friction problem is not here in the case of carbon nanotubes you can easily rotate them uh, within each other without any uh, frictions. Uh, metal atom. So what we can do with uh, with uh, these uh, uh, kind of nanotube, we can change or we can enhance the properties of these kind of nanomaterials. Uh, that is, uh, metal atom can be attached to other surfaces of the tube. I mean, it's, uh, it's something like we are saying about functionalizations of the uh, nanotube. So what actually we do. Uh, Functionalization are we, we saying uh, something like the concept of doping. I mean, we want to enhance the properties for a particular application. So in that particular case, we want to add or we want to dop the metal atoms. Uh, that in other sense, we saying that it can be attached to the surface of the tubes. Uh, with these properties, uh, what might nanotube be used for? I mean, we said that the nanotube, particularly carbon nanotube, has such excellent properties. So along with those excellent properties, one has a question in mind that what are the particular applications uh, in which uh, these uh, tubes with uh, such an excellent property can be used. So let's have eyes uh, on the uses of the carbon nanotube. So you know that the properties of carbon nanotubes make them useful in many ways. So let's have uh, to put an eye on the, uh, some of the excellent uses of the carbon nanotube. So um, the good example in this particular uh, sense is uh, that is when we utilize uh, nanotube, uh, particularly carbon nanotube and the electric and electronic, so we can have thinner, lighter TV screen. Uh, we can have smaller, thinner optical fiber. Uh, along with that, we can have strong, light, waterproof fabrics. Uh, we can have stronger building materials and along with that we can have smaller lighter electrical circuit I mean that, that that's all we have when we are utilizing carbon nanotube uh, instead of the, uh, the, the the commonly available bulk materials so these these are some of the special characteristics some of the special advantages one can have uh, if you want to utilize uh, carbon nanotube for uh, this purposes instead of the, their bulk counterpart so potential application of carbon nanotubes also include uh, in different field. For example, uh, first you consider some material and chemistry. Uh, so you know that in field of material and chemistry, you can utilize CNTs as a composite. 
uh, ceramic uh, and as uh, the metallic substances similarly I've, uh, I mean in this particular field uh, if you need a heat conducting polymer uh, so that polymer uh, I mean can be utilized in the form of CNT's composite uh, I mean you need conductive surfaces uh, so uh, in that particular case you can utilize uh, CNT's as a coating uh, I mean you can utilize uh, CNT's as a membrane and catalysis uh, you can uh, utilize it as step of scanning probe uh, microscopy but if you are a person working in the uh, medicine and life sciences so you should know that uh, you can have a lab on a chip uh, so that is for the medical diagnosis I mean so with the help of the carbon nanotube you can have lab on a chip uh, that that should be utilized for the medical diagnosis of the uh, medical diagnosis or uh, I mean related uh, different problems uh, you can have uh, with the use of the nanomaterial particularly carbon nanotube uh, you can easily uh, uh, I mean apply easily utilize it and medical applications like uh, drug delivery uh, you can utilize it and chemical sensor you can utilize it to filter uh, your filters water for you and for different food uh, treatment but if you are a scientist or a worker working in the field of electronic uh, integrated circuit and technology so you should know that uh, with the help of carbon nanotube uh, you can have uh, lighting elements uh, uh, and those can have excellent emission displays uh, you can have micro electronic devices uh, that is uh, uh, with, this, with this you can have single electron transistors uh, you can have molecular computing and data storage. Uh, you can have uh, ultra sensitive electro mechanical uh, sensors. Uh, further, you can have micro electric mechanical system that simply we call uh, MEMS. But if you uh, if you are a scientist or a worker working in the field of energy, uh, so you should know that uh, that carbon nanotube can be used for hydrogen storage application similarly it can be used for general energy storage applications that is we can utilize easily for uh, I mean to work as a, a super capacitor similarly it can be utilized in solar cells a fuel cell uh, super uh, as a super conducting materials you know that the conductivity is very huge or very low uh, so that's why we say that it can be utilized as super conducting materials so here are some of the excellent uh, potential application of the carbon nanotubes. Uh, I mean, you're working in any field, you're working in a field of material and chemistry, physics, you're working in a field of medicine, biomedical, you're working in electronic and ICT, uh, you're working in IT. So, in all these fields, you can have potential application from the carbon nanotube. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, you know that uh, carbon nanotube is so much uh, important for the, for the worker, for the scientist working in different field of life. So uh, just as a result of that, uh, global, uh, we have global productions of carbon nanotube uh, and globally it's been it has uses and uh, you know that uh, the thing which are being utilized to many people uh, around the globe. So the people also have concern about that. Uh, so let's see uh, how carbon nanotube, how, uh, when and where carbon nanotubes are being produced, uh, utilized and uh, have a concern. So 27 form producing carbon nanotubes globally uh, production concentrated in the US and Japan but shipped it to Korea and China. I mean the, the major uh, nano, uh, carbon nanotubes production farm they are basically located in the US and Japan uh, but you know that after being synthesized after being produced these materials they are then shipped it to Korea and Japan you know that Japan and Korea they are, they are one of the hub for the nanotechnology especially for making devices from the nanotechnology so that's why we're saying that the nanomaterial are being synthesized they are being shifted to Korea and China for making of those excellent devices are to be utilized in those excellent devices so uh, about 108 metric tons uh, produced the nanomaterial or carbon nanotubes uh, been produced in, uh, in the year 2004 and that should be greater I mean th this number should be greater than thousand metric tons annual production is estimated within the uh, within the next five years I mean th th this was an estimate in 2004 I mean while we are talking this so this estimate was taken 
uh, in 2004 that the product of carbon nanotube was 100 at metric tons and it was I mean the, the last five uh, and for the further five years uh, the product was estimated to be greater than 1000 metric tons per year I mean it's, uh, I mean at that particular time the pro uh, the estimate was uh, about 2009 and 2010 so I mean uh, in today's world since today is 2021 so maybe the production will almost more than the double or the triple so you know that uses uh, where we utilize or where we can utilize carbon narrative we already mentioned on the previous slide that it can be utilized in sporting goods uh, conducting composite batteries fuel cell solar cell field emission displays biomedical uh, I mean it has biomedical uses the fiber and the sensor uh, but you shouldn't forget about just like we mentioned in the in the last lectures the end of life issues uh, that is uh, incinerations uh, landfilling recycling is, I mean it's still been unresolved so it's still uh, we have a dangerous uh, self we have a danger of end of life issues uh, with the people or the scientists particularly working in this field uh, may need to address uh, you need further uh, I mean, if you further interested, uh, I mean, the data regarding this particular slide, so the link is given at the bottom, you can consult, uh, and you will be happy to learn more about uh, this particular topic. Uh, carbon nanotube production is iron food, you know that. If you want to synthesize carbon nanotubes by the most famous technique that we call chemical vapor deposition, and short, we call CVD. So, uh, depending on the quantities, you can utilize different precursor and different quantities for example here in uh, as uh, approximation an estimate is given that is uh, you are interested to synthesize carbon nanotubes with a quantity uh, equal to 1 kg uh, uh, 1 kg uh, CNT for air so how you have to do I mean this is uh, uh, just uh, the estimation of the, of the precursor the estimate of the precursor has been provided here that is uh, the process gases uh, that one have to utilize uh, that is you can utilize as a precursor materials uh, uh, acetylene ammonia methane and hydrogen the quantity are mentioned here uh, I mean for this much of the CNTs uh, per year so you have to utilize uh, this much of the gases that is acetylene ammonia methane hydrogen each should be utilized in the quantity uh, 708 liters uh, along with that you can utilize some of the catalysts ceramic catalysts uh, some as a ceramic catalyst uh, support particle that should be equal to 170 grams along with that you can uh, utilize iron cobalt and nickel compound uh, you can have acid uh, acid bath for example hydrochloric uh, nitric and hydrofluoric uh, uh, and that should be equal to 0 0.7 liters I mean these are some of the precursors uh, particularly needed if you are interested to synthesize CNTs via CVD techniques uh, in a particular amount a particular quantity so this is just I mean uh, the data is given that how much the precursor you will need uh, and which particular technique uh, you will need to utilize to synthesize uh, CNTs so what are the concerns uh, the concern about uh, carbon nanotubes so people have raised concern due to the superficial likeness to asbestos fibers and extreme uh, durabilities uh, potential exposures during manufacturing frosting product use and disposal have been researched more than most manufacturer nanostructure you know that carbon nanotube right from its first discovery experimental discovery by as uh, Ajema in 1991 is the most uh, I mean research materials almost every nano lab in the world they are working on this particular materials they are working on specializations they are working as potential applications so uh, I mean the product is much more than the humans uh, I mean estimations so this is why we have uh, I mean so, so many concerns relating with the uh, with the product so CNT's research and uh, concerns uh, results uh, you know that we have results uh, that have been uh, uh, variable depending on dose 
testing a testing model purity and type of the nanostructures uh, research results today I mean so uh, tell that we have some results uh, based on those results uh, some core entities appear to move freely throughout the body that is uh, I mean so being tested on mice whereas other are rapidly uh, excreted so uh, installation experiment have shown inflammatory uh, fibrotic and immune changes I mean when, when it's been utilized it's for biomedical applications for some particular purposes so it has been observed uh, during those particular experiment that uh, it can lead to inflammatory fibrotic and immune changes uh, in the body uh, inhalation experiment have shown small changes in the lungs I mean uh, uh, people have observed that if you inhale the carbon nanotubes uh, so though it can affect the lungs but uh, the changes uh, they are very minute changes uh, I mean it's been, been at a very small scale effect on the immune system yeah definitely it have uh, carbon nanotube has effect on the immune system uh, it has effect on the cell growth and death as well uh, modification of tube coating by uh, aquatic uh, organism uh, so these are some of the concerns that's been related with the uh, uh, uses of uh, uh, carbon nanotubes and their concern so just like anything each and everything they have foreign cones so along that carbon nanotubes also have foreign cones but that need to be addressed with the passage of time at the time we have uh, more development field of nanotechnology so we will learn more about uh, the usage or the safe usage of the nanotechnology or carbon nanotube so that's all for this lecture see you in the last lecture till then bye